So game three of All Blacks v France is just around the corner. The series itself is kind of in the bag because the All Blacks won the first two games, yeah, 52-11 and 26-13. But despite that fact, this one doesn't really have the look of a dead rubber. Uh, mainly because the poor performance last week kind of uh, of the All Blacks that was a bit disappointing and... We haven't yet had a game that's not really been influenced by the officiating to a pretty big degree. So we're still kind of waiting for this just straight up contest 15 on 15 between these two teams. So we'll see if we can get that. Obviously France last week with 14 men for much of the match uh, really impressed. Uh, they dominated some pretty key areas of that game. So we'll see if they're kind of able to put that together for 80 minutes and perhaps shock the world and knock off the ABs in New Zealand. Uh, for the All Blacks, they've made a few changes. Uh, there's a few guys making their debut. So uh, Frizzell starts at number six. Uh, I guess that makes sense for him to, to get a game uh, in the series, well, in the third game of the series. Um, good player. Uh, hasn't played all that much rugby at Super Rugby level, but uh, the All Blacks have kind of earmarked him as one for the future. So uh, we'll see how he goes. Uh, also, Goodhue starts at 13. So he's been around the All Blacks setup for a while, and it's it's... I guess it's his time to, to get a run. Uh, Sonny Bill is inside him at 12. Obviously not on debut, but uh, that means there's a fair bit of bulk uh, in that All Blacks midfield, so that will be an interesting test for the French. Uh, Damien McKenzie gets the nod at 10. So uh, Moonga is looking to make his debut from the bench. Uh, I would have liked to see Moonga get a run at 10, but... Um, it's been pretty clear, I think, for most of us, and I've said as much in the comments, that uh, Damien is definitely ahead in the pecking order at the moment. Uh, some people have uh, highlighted the fact that he seems to be on a kind of similar career path, at least at the moment, to, to what Bowden Barrett followed, followed. Like, at the moment, he's, um, he's being the super sub, he's coming on, he's playing fullback, he's playing 10, uh, you know, which is basically what Bowden did until he could kind of make that 10 jersey his own, so... Uh, it might be a year or two before we kind of see the best of, of Damien uh, in the 10 jersey, but um, he's getting a crack here. We'll see how he goes. Uh, last week, the service he got from his halfbacks wasn't wasn't the best. So um, he's still got Aaron Smith playing inside him this week, so we'll see if if that service kind of improves. Uh, Hemopo is also going to make his debut if he comes on uh, in the second row, so good for him. Uh, Sam Kane is out. Uh, didn't have his best game last week, uh, but he's not played that much rugby recently, so uh, that could be a factor. So Adi Savia starts at 7, uh, and the Holo is also in the squad this week, so he's on the right wing. Uh, ben Smith shifts to fullback, which is great news. I, I prefer to see Ben at, at, uh, at fullback. I think that's his best position. I mean, he's a he's good wherever you put him, but he's a great fullback, so... Um, he's such a utility player that he tends to get moved around a bit, but... Um, yeah, he's, he's finally at 15, so that's good, which means uh, Geordie Barrett moves to the bench. Um, also, Matt Todd is on the bench to, to cover that flank spot as well, so a bit of experience there, if nothing else. Um, he earns it, man. That guy doesn't always get the respect or at least the, the game time he, he needs, but uh, he's a cracking player, so it's good to have him on the bench. Um, for France... Uh, Fall, the guy who was yellow, uh, red carded last week, um, he had his red card kind of annulled or cancelled or whatever you want to call it, so he is able to start this week at 15. He'll feel vindicated and it will be interesting to see if he's got kind of a fire in his belly to to, to uh, put in a shift this week. He, he'll want to beat the All Blacks after being wrongfully sent off last week. I mean, I thought it was a red card. Uh, when I saw it, I just thought it was careless rather than like um, malicious. But uh, apparently on review, the the rugby powers at B said that it was uh, interference kind of by Anton Leonard Brown, which which started a chain of events um, interfering with fall, which caused his hit into Barrett. So um, so yeah, he he's he's back, and um, we'll see how he goes. Uh, also, Bustero is out. Uh, he's having a rest, so that's a kind of a pity because you got Goodhue and Sonny Bill on one side. It would have been great to see Bustero uh, running up against those two guys, but not to be. So we've got uh, Lemerat at uh, 12 and Fofano at 13, so still a pretty uh, pretty solid midfield there for the French. Para will captain the side, so he's an experienced hand, but it's his first time to captain, so 
uh, another one to watch and uh, Felix Lambe will get his debut in the second row if he comes on so a couple of young locks to come on for both sides so yeah for this one I mean the All Blacks like I said really need to improve for last from last week uh, they were not slick I mean they got the job done they got a win but I don't think the rest of the rugby world was exactly shaking in their boots on that performance. Um, but it could just be a case of, you know, there was a red card early on in the game, so they didn't feel that drive. Like the same way that all us fans kind of just dropped our heads and went, oh, is the contest over? Perhaps the same happened with the All Blacks, but uh, either way, the coaches will be looking for a reaction there. Plus, uh, a, few, a few guys, you know, who don't usually get games, so they'll be looking to put their hands up as well. Uh, I think most eyes will be on Damian McKenzie for this one, and then likewise Moonga when he comes on, depending on what time he comes on. Um, also, if Geordie comes on, is it going to be in the midfield or is it going to be at fullback because the Hurricanes have been playing him in the midfield recently? Uh, there's a fair few things to watch, but the Damian McKenzie versus uh, Moonga debate will probably be the big talking point following this game, uh, at least in terms of the All Blacks. For France, it's about converting that <clears throat> resilient performance under pressure with a man down last week <clears throat> into something with 15 on 15. Um, because we saw them kind of collapse in that first game when there was a yellow card, but then they really rallied in that second game with the red card. So hopefully we see that second kind of option uh, in this game. Because uh, we all want a contest, we all want it to be, you know... Maybe not all of us fans will say this, but I want it to be tight. I want it to be a good game of rugby. You, you want the suspense and and just that high-quality game. So we'll see if we get that. Um, they might be able to exploit some some of the new combinations that are going on in the All Blacks as well. So we, we will see. Uh, I think, though, the person with the most pressure, I think it's John Lacey this week, uh, is the referee. Because after game one, where France got yellow card, and the All Blacks did not in a situation where they should have. Uh, game two, the French get a red card, which was later rescinded. So all eyes are on the referee for this one. Um, he is not going to be able to put a foot wrong, otherwise he's going to be criticised to high heaven. So uh, yeah, after those first two games, let's hope for a game where the referee is not a talking point. But um, I said that for the last one and we got a red card, so... Uh, knock on wood, we'll see what happens. Uh, All Blacks by 24 is what the bookmakers are saying. So, um, yeah, they're not picking it to be a whole lot of a contest, but um, at least it'll be fine because it's an indoor stadium, so there'll be some good running rugby on display. Either way, we'll hope for a bit of entertainment. How do you guys see the game going? Uh, which players are you looking forward to kind of seeing an action that we haven't seen in action yet? And, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.